You think this place was like a secret base? Could be. Middle of nowhere, inhospitable surface, storms provide cover from detection. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. out you can hardly see the blue long time since the war and this place is all kind of wet feels like yesterday in all the worst ways agreed hasn't been picked clean for salvage. This planet is no place for carrying. He's got a point. Hard enough to land here, let alone scour the surface for scrap. All that for me, bud? Here's good. Understood. Drax, this one's all you. Good right here. I am on my way. Are we sure we want to go back up? I'm getting used to not being completely soaked. Perhaps the storm will have abated. Can you get up there now? This brings back memories. Impressive. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. It took you long enough. We all know Gamora is super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. There it is. Lady Hellbender's fortress. It's got bigger, that's for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Okay, <sighs> here we go. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. <sighs> oh, why the flark is so deep? <sighs> In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Some schmack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, hit fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Well. <laughs> that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. 
Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scud like this. Just come on, dude. Just please let go of the wall. Well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, they might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. Here we go again.
perfectly well abomination, and you two are getting in the way of my victory. Us? You're the one screwing up our fun. Me and Groot stand a better chance of winning this on our own. Guys, have you forgotten who we are? Fear none. Why would we fear? We're winning. Right, exactly. Because we've never known another way but winning. Who's with me? Do his kind of with me, I suppose she controls the monsters now, too? We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stop. Hey, Gamora, can you dig out that cannon? If you want to wait a few rotations. I shall extract the cannon. It is... More stubborn than expected! Impossible! It will not stay in place! You couldn't just hold- Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. I cannot hold it forever! You gotta find a way to lock this place. Obviously. Why will you not yield? Because it's attached to a recoily thing. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I did it! Impressive, Keep the Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps in... Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, and dry now, too. If I never see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. Gamora, can you clear the path through that jump? Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes! Their heads are ridiculous! like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? I'm Groot. You're a cool dude, Groot. I'm Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, you've known Rocket way longer than I have. I'm Groot. You know he can be kind of unpredictable, temperamental even, feisty. I'm Groot. What I'm asking is, is he gonna be able to go through with this? That sounded like a yes. Good. Thanks, man. Oh man. Another murder tentacle. 
Where did you guys go? Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again, and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Ugh. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. <sighs> I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of... 